signs of Virgo. This is Kim. I'm doing your next 48 hours. Thank you so much, guys, for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. I appreciate all the support. I am doing private readings, too, uh, for donation at, for a limited time, probably. Um, just allow 24 hours for them to get back to you. So this is the moon oracle that we're going to start with, as I have already burned some smudge stick for you um holy wood and lit a candle green for prosperity so spirit guides angels higher self higher power let's get messages clear and concise for the sign of virgo for their next 48 hours all right so one appeared to come out and that is a moon goddess Kali. Now, I've had some people say that that this, whatever their stories are, sometimes they don't match up. Um, it's up to you. Really, you just get whatever you can get out of the story. Um, I'm sure different cultures probably have different um, stories with somewhat the same theme. So, Callie is um in the sign of sagittarius and it mean and it's fire it says if you if you fight you will have to pay the price hmm. okay cali ma is this is the myth by the way is just one of the many personas of the wife of siva this goddess assumed many guises in her work the destruction of demons that challenge gods. She struck this um, chief of the army of demons so many times with her powerful weapons, but each time a drop of his blood fell, the earth gave birth to a thousand powerful giants. So to stop the creation of giants, Kali was forced to drink every drop of this demon's blood until the chief demon was totally defeated. So, um, drawing this card reveals that whatever your opposition is, you must pursue a policy of no mercy if you wish to achieve. So really go after what you're wanting to go after and go after strong. Um, it says action without inhib inhibition is demanded and you will need to be ruthless in sticking to your plans. It is important to realize if you gloat over the defeat of your opponent, then something you value will be lost. Huh. Okay. No good will come of it if position of, um, okay, no, no, never mind. No, none will come of it if you, uh, nothing will come of it, basically, if you are, um, I don't know, being, taking this as like an ego boost thing. So it says it's just really adventurous. It has the fire quality. Um, searching for truth, no matter where it's going to be found. Taurus had a similar, um, a similar message in their moon oracle. It was about sacrificing everything to get what you wanted or willing to sacrifice everything. If the goddess Kali is selected, then December might be an auspicious month in regard to a question. All right. So that was that. We're going to do a few oracle cards first and then tarot. Uh, with this, I think we're going to use the Lover's Oracle at the very end so I can include people that do want to know maybe a question or two answered about relationships. So this is our first Oracle, and this was the Moon Goddess Kali. Actually, let's put that right there so you can see it, bold and strong. Okay, now we're going to get some Dream Totem messages. For Virgo right away. Wow. There is something going on. Um, oh, goodness. Okay, guys. What's going on? All right. This is what we have from the Dream Totems. This is the first totem. And it says preservation. Reevaluate this battle that you're engaged in. A hasty treat, retreat may be in order. Self preservation may be the only thing salvageable. Actually, 
going to end up putting that over there anyway. Forgiveness. Trusting yourself is often harder than trusting others. Don't worry if you get this wrong. The consequences will not be as bad as you think. Sounds awfully specific, doesn't it? Weariness. No one has your best interest at heart. Others have their own agendas. So you're growing tired of something. Um, step up and take control of this situation. It's the very thing people are not expecting you to do. All right. So next card. Next card. We're going to get the sacred rebels oracle i'm gonna get one of these there is one stuck card okay <sighs> softly softly accepting with the power of the divine feminine that's what was stuck to the desk table all right the sacred rebel oracle sacred rebels Purple, and I'm still learning this with you all. That's how I do end up learning these decks is through practice. Okay. Split the deck, please. See what we've got. Let's get a couple of these cards for you, Virgo. And I will consult the book to uh, give you the appropriate answers here. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. Isn't that pretty? I, in a time of things being kind of bleak, weariness, feeling weary. Yeah, faith in the process. Seeing that, some, well, having faith in the unseen, that something is always going to be manifesting for your greater good. There's that. Let's um let me go to the book. Hang on one second. Okay, let me go to the book here. Number 32. Faith in the process, trusting the flow. Okay. Seeing everything as like an experience. Neither good nor bad. Okay, faith in the process. It says no matter how powerful we are, um, how much courage and strength we have, there are times when we can't quite move ourselves along to the next phase of life or creative exploration. And at such times, we need divine intervention. A little help pulling our trolley along, so to speak. We are at the edge of our own limits growing weary and have no personal resources that we might be left with one power spiritual power that of faith and fortunately that is enough to have this is time for humility and trust you need complete faith in this process and that the events are happening there's nothing for you to worry about this guidance comes from the greater source of life itself that there's an opportunity for you to be moved from the situation you're currently in, like a path is being open for you. You may feel as though the, wheel, the wheels of your trolley are coming off or they're a bit rickety, but you must understand the voice of life is now coming straight to your heart with the message, I have resources you know not of. It is safe to trust in my ways and wisdom. For I love you. I'm guiding you to all that is rightfully yours. Okay. Second card. That's so sweet. After the storm. And we have. Um, we have the owl. The owl. And it looks like. Well it kind of looks like the moon. I guess with the owl. Kind of looks like the sun, but I think it's the moon. Okay, number one. Absolutely number one. I've never read this one either for anybody. Okay, it says, this thunderstorm is either passing or um, it's about to be through. It says, uh, there's something that maybe is scaring you or that you're unable to like get a hold of right now says, even if you don't know what the storm is about, don't lose confidence in your ability to successfully bear its progression until you're safely at the other side of the experience. 
This is the chaos of change. This oracle is important for you. The storm is coming and you can, if you wish, feel the beautiful, exhilarating gift of it as you are empowered to cast aside what has been and receive a gift of fresh, new take on things. Your confidence will remain intact. Whatever happening, whatever is happening with this storm, it is transformational and supportive to your growth. It's going to clear out the cobwebs and free you. It will open your new path. It will open and it will get rid of this stuck feeling. This feels like the Eight of Swords energy. That's what I'm feeling from it. All right, so let's see here. Let's do... Um, Let's do some of these cards. These are um, angel answer cards. So you can either ask it a question. Um, I'm going to probably draw um, two or three of these. So you can either ask a question or wait, see what comes out and see then how it fits into your situation. Then we're going to get to tarot. So number one for Virgo. And this is two. Number one. Remain positive. Remain positive. You're manifesting with your power of all that grows beautifully. The um, flowers there. And then number two, perfect timing. See the timing? It looks like um, the temperance. It reminds me of the temperance. So perfect timing. So something really might be right for right now to happen. All right, number three, forgiveness. There's forgiveness right there. So that's a big message for you too, Virgo. It's about forgiveness, letting go of judgments that we've held either against somebody else or ourselves. Um, let's use the Morgan Greer tarot. All right, for Virgo, if we can get, please spirit, a general reading. For the next 48 hours for Virgo, what is the issue with our collective of Virgo? Transformation. Transformation. But but there's a resistance to this transformation. Maybe it's because of what other people are saying around you. Or some people not thinking this is a good idea. Maybe other people are saying this can't be transformed or I'm feeling like that. Like that's what I'm feeling from this, like this change. And maybe there are some people trying to stop it. <laughs> Excuse me, sneeze. So yeah, maybe there are other people trying to stop this growth. But they can't be successful. But the thing is, is that you can't resist anymore this change. This transformation will come whether you you want to or not because right now the only energy you really have to give is your spiritual energy which is going to be helped by spirit team so it could be a leo could be a scorpio it's the past energy past energy for virgo the star and the reverse people are arguing people were arguing people were disagreeing with you about what your goal what what your wishes were and it might be dealing with an Aquarius it might have been dealing with an Aquarius or it's about something that didn't work out in the past maybe cultivating something just didn't it didn't work out but remain positive because these I feel are your hopes and your dreams and I think maybe they've changed and so that might be why it's like that too all right, present energy. Present energy for a swords, you might be um, either coming out of a healing. Some of you may be needing a healing. This could be physical or emotional. It could be because you've stepped out of the arguing and fighting and the conflict. It's a near future energy here. Wow, anticipation. Three of Wands waiting for what's yours to rightfully come to you. An anticipation that there is something you're not going to 
worry about. There is something that you will anticipate coming your way. I think you already see this. Transformation. Okay, how are you feeling? How's Virgo feeling? Like you need to either fix soulmate issues or a partnership needs to be fixed or family issue regarding a partnership needs to be addressed. I feel strongly like that's how what you're feeling right here. Soulmate or or family issue that needs to be addressed. And maybe some more opportunities for good harmonious partnerships. Maybe that's another thing that you're focused on. Okay, so what is the, um, in the external environment here? Ooh. Okay, so you're getting the wish granted. That's good. You're releasing heartache, regrets, any kind of emotion that would be blocking your nine of cups, you're removing out of the way. And I feel like this is also the hopes and fears I think you're hoping for good news to come your way. Something fiery, passionate, maybe even a new beginning. I think you're fearing somebody that comes back. Somebody who comes back and they might be a careless, reckless, um, impulsive person who either does damage when they come or just makes promises and then leaves. That's what I'm getting for that too. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So your wish granted is here. You have to let go and you have to transform this energy of the loss or heartache. Possible third party. But this is a general reading, so it can be really for anything. So what is the outcome? What's the projected outcome for Virgo? Anything else? All right. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. All right. So you haven't gotten word, right? You haven't received word. Maybe of finances changing. Maybe word of um, good news. Like good news about maybe some finances. But you haven't received that message yet. It does have to do with releasing the energy of feeling like somebody's always getting one all over you or somebody was be, being very sneaky. But you're coming out of this deceptive energy. You're getting either away from it or you're starting something completely new. From, you know what, it's like from a mistake came a really valuable lesson that led to this. This exhaustion weariness but you forgiving and keep on pursuing that's your ace of pentacles so that's immediate of immediate uh financial assistance and then it's also the path to more there's many things that grow and that are beautiful on this path the strength could have been dealing with a leo but this is truly having the courage and strength to trust that all you turn to all you need to turn to is your spiritual strength so we have some good energy here. Money's going to get really good. Maybe even stability after this, you know, constant bad news or not bad news, but constant never having good, good news. And then this seven of swords moving out of your way. So energy is going to get better and you're going to have a lot more opportunities. All right. I even feel like this might be a golden opportunity here. So, Virgo, let's get you one of these cards for the, from the Lover's Oracle. Then I'm going to get this uploaded so you all can. Watch it. <laughs> get benefit from it. All right, Virgo, we have these two. Okay, the first one, such a pretty card, isn't it? 
Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. You see that, right? Yeah. And then this right here, I'm feeling that twin flame energy for some. It says trust. Yeah, trust that this transformation is through acceptance. And once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Beautiful. All right, Virgos, thank you so much for joining me, guys. Sending you love and light and accept the prosperity candles energy. Thank you. Bye-bye.